Let's look at the record of their party in government in Scotland over the last 14 years. Drug deaths, failure, 1,264 deaths in 2019. 15 times worse than Germany, 35 times worse than France, three and a half times worse than the rest of the United Kingdom. Education, education, yeah. failure. Scotland and the SNP has fallen in the science rankings, in the reading rankings, in the maths rankings. We have the lowest scores in maths and science since PISA, since Scotland started participating in PISA 20 years ago. Literacy and numeracy rates declining, the attainment gap widening, and now you are more likely to go to university if you come from a deprived background in England than you are in Scotland. That is a shameful record. Scotland's NHS, 25% of GP practices have unfilled vacancies. 500 consultant posts vacant in Scotland's hospitals. And I could go on. In the northeast of Scotland, of course, Madam Deputy Peaker, not, 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 not failure, just abandoned. <laughs> North Sea oil workers told they have no future by the SNP's partner in government. The First Minister declaring there should be no more exploration in the North Sea and that Campbell is a bad idea. Reneging on their plan to duel the A96. Failure to deliver money for improved rail journey times that they promised twice in a manifesto and a broadband rollout that is going to be five years late. Not so much disastrous SNP action, it's missing in action when it comes to the North East of Scotland. And all of this, all of this, whilst over 50,000 Scots were without power at the weekend, many without water. Whilst the nation recovers from Storm Arwen, whilst many people worry about this new strain of Covid, whilst businesses recover from the last few years, whilst teachers work hard to support those kids that have been left behind, whilst doctors and nurses slog away to deal with the backlog and support all of our constituents, whilst Police Scotland does more with less, whilst the oil and gas workers worry about their future, what does the SNP choose to do today? Point scoring, petty politics and yeah. frankly a stunt that is wasting all of our time. Little wonder, little wonder the First Minister's popularity ratings are in free fall, support for Independence is on the decline, yeah. and independence, independence now ranks as eighth, eighth in the priorities of the yeah. Scottish people. Today's motion is on the conduct of the right honourable member of Oxford and South Wales, my rightful friend, the Prime Minister. I just wish I had any confidence in the conduct of the Scottish government and how they're running my country. Yeah.